Anita Timnus felt nervous about her first small submersible dive in the Sea of Cortez, off California's coastline, in April 2023. The worry dissipated quickly as the seven-passenger underwater of the vehicle dipped below the surface of the water, leaving behind the Discovery yacht from which her adventure started. The sound of pilot transmitting periodic safety checks was a company build amid the thrill. I'm really glad I did it, says the on-air host of Recalling the 360-degree views of the sea bottom from the submersible's transparent acrylic hull at a depth just shy of a thousand feet. I don't think I would do it now, she adds, citing the implosion of Ocean Deep expeditions. The loss of five lives and the step into question the safety of underwater expeditions. Could this be the end of deep sea tourism? In 2023, submersible tourism has become more common than it might sound. Personal submersibles are used widely by cruise lines, yacht operators, and a small number of tourist submersible operations to explore pristine coastlines, Arctic waters, and coral reefs. They rarely achieve depths greater than 1,000 meters, 3,280 feet, was intended to descend four times as far. Uh, no one has yet said, uh, submersible tourism is a bad idea, let's cancel it. Uh, says Charles Cunnan, co-founder of the pioneering California-based Sea Imagine Hydrospace Corp. Sea Imagine revolutionized the traditional submarine industry in the 1990s when Koning and his co-founding brother, William, both engineers, designed and built the first known personal submersibles. The company's two-person crewed vessels were initially conceived for research and tourism, offering hour-long trips off the coast of California. There's a difference between flying an experimental airplane versus flying a Federal Aviation Authority approved airplane, Conan says in reference to the now well-publicized fact that OceanGate's sub-operation was an outlier in lacking certification. Uh, the submersible industry is otherwise strictly regulated by government-approved bodies or classification societies that are technical experts in ship safety in the U.S. and abroad. Yacht crews and luxury operators in the submersible business understand this distinction, Kernan explains. Uh, people are asking questions as a result of these implosions, says Eric Hasselman, uh, commercial director at Netherlands-based U-Boat Works, uh, whose submersibles have been used since 2009 on board private yachts and since 2016 by luxury cruise lines. Its clients include Seaborne Cruises, Viking Cruises, and Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours. So, Rocky Mode received... You have to see the longer-term effects, but business is continuing here as normal, he explains. Adding the demand for personal submersibles and pilot training courses has been growing in recent years. U-Boat Works' as vessels are luxury products. After all, they are the ultimate yacht toy, ranging from a two-person capsule for 35 20,000 to a nine person model, each capable of descending about 1,000 meters. Other leisure sub manufacturers include Triton Submarines, which declined to comment for this story. Uh, where submersibles used to be limited to research and government use, um, they're now about 200 worldwide uh, that are not for military use. Uh, Conan explains. Uh, of those, about 25 to, to 30 are on private yachts. Uh, the industry's wares are just starting to become accessible to luxury leisure travelers. Um, and and uh, so far, there are a handful of ways to book this type of trip. In Curacao, you can take a 60 to 90 minute dive, starting from $350 from New Boat, works as local substation to see panoramic views of vibrant coral reefs or shipwrecks. In the Bahamas, you could shell out a cool 700,000 for high-end operator, Kensington Tours 10-day yacht tour, which includes daily submersible dives around the archipelago from the 130-foot Trideck motor yacht. In Costa Rica, the liveaboard luxury yacht sails around the protected Cocos Island National Park with access to a deep sea, three person sea imagine submersible, uh, perhaps easiest. You can take excursions uh, on expedition ships from luxury cruise lines. Uh, for instance, guests on seaborne cruises, 
uh, and ships can pay around $500 for excursions that explore the depths of Antarctica or the Norwegian fjords, among other places, uh, on U-boat work subs. Uh, most all are limited to the same thousand meter threshold, which is still far deeper than the average scuba dive. Those typically top out around 40 meters. Lower depths, says Conan, become big stuff that requires a different type of vessel, a metal hole with portholes, rather than a completely transparent bubble. Additional distinctions separate these more common luxury experiences from Ocean Gate's extreme explorer-oriented missions. The aforementioned safety standards are most critical. All of the vessels, from Sea Imagine, U-boat works and slows, to remain. The only two time Imagine moved to Canada is turned to a Florida-based Triton submarine, are certified by ship classification societies in their home countries. Uh, U-boat work says it receives an annual uh, visit from its classification body, which is based in Germany, to check all its systems and logbooks and to ensure that maintenance has been done correctly. This includes performing safety dives. Hasselman says, then you'll get a stamp and you're good to go for another year. Uh, passing the test marks, a vehicle is formally classed and inspected uh, before booking a trip. You can ask operators if their submersible has this label. It's also worth checking the number of dives a company has completed in its certified subs. The figure surpasses 12,000 for Sea Imagine, for instance, while Ocean Gates had just 13 dives and was uncertified. Uh, another big difference, like leisure submersibles, are buoyant. They use propellers to drive the vessel underwater uh, rather than having to fall like a rock. Uh, and using uh, ballast tanks for stabilization. As with the, you know, if you lose power and everything shuts off, um, it, it, you know, it will always flow back to the surface, says Conan. Uh, what's more, for subs built and approved to code, uh, you know exactly how many times you can go to your maximum depth. Uh, it's not a guess. So uh, he says that uh, it simply isn't true of experimental subs. And uh, the challenge now for Conan and his industry colleagues will be marketing these trips in such a way uh, that addresses misconceptions without stoking fears of future disasters and what may be very good news for the industry. The next generation of personal submersibles is doubling down, not on extreme exploration, but extreme luxury. Sea Imagine is expecting the delivery in January of its ultra high-end Aurora 95-seater after it undergoes sea trials in October. With a 90-inch viewing sphere, it will have a roomier passenger cabin that will feel properly upscale with leather seating, an interior sound system, and air conditioning. Further off is the 25 million Nautilus underwater super yacht from U-Boat Works, for which only renderings currently exist. Construction will begin when an order is placed and is expected to take 30 months. This yacht sub-hybrid will have all the swish features of a luxury boat including a bar, jacuzzi, sun deck, and a swimming platform that's accessed at sea level. True to its name, this will be a proper yacht, albeit one capable of traveling 500 feet underwater. For his part, Conan hopes one thing is clear about the tragedy that unfolded near the Titanic wreck. It wouldn't have happened if Ocean Gate had adhered to the standards that the rest of the industry follows. In 2018, in fact, his brother William Conan, which chair of the U.S. Marine Technology Society's Manned Underwater Vehicles Committee, addressed a letter to Ocean Gate's late chief executive officer with a prescient money. The MUV industry has earned itself an enviable safety track record over the past 40 years. He wrote crediting the collective observation of and adherence to a variety of safety standards. If these were disrupted, he continued, it could have serious consequences for everyone in the industry. And also Charles Conan adds that plenty of vessels have been capable of making the journey deeper than 4,000 meters with proper standards. Uh, it's not that we're pushing the boundary of technology, he explains, uh, you know, this whole thing was 100% avoidable